I mean, was there any type of adjustment period? Trying to just getting used to adjusting the ball. Last year, you had some near misses on plays. Could have been big plays, touchdowns, and maybe kind of adjust how you respond to the ball in the air based off some of those throws. And then this week, you got a guy put out in front of you, barely goes off the tip like that. Is that is that just part of an adjustment from playing with different quarterbacks and trying to adjust to where you think the ball is going to be? For sure, for sure. Uh, you know, uh, it's different. They. Both of them throw the ball differently. Uh, Justin likes to lay it over over top of you a, a little bit. Andy likes to put it on you sometimes. So it's just a, you know, understanding who's in and uh, understanding the chemistry we have with the quarterback. So we got we, we were able to get some work in yesterday. So it was all good. Comparison between those two guys, we've been going back to last year when you had like Mitch and Nick, where you had to go up and make some plays on like jump balls. How do you prefer the ball to be? Uh, honestly. It, it doesn't matter. I just if the ball hit my hand, I gotta catch it regardless. It's all good. Wherever wherever it's at, I'm good with it. After the game, I had a conversation with you about your own perspective on your play. You said you felt that you didn't perform your best. You know, having had a chance to watch the film, do you still feel the same way about your performance? Uh, every week, I'm always gonna be unsatisfied of how I played. Uh, I mean, we got the win. That's the that's the all I care about, honestly. But uh. My individual play, I'm always going to be unsatisfied of how I play, though. Receiver to receiver, what do you, know, what do you admire the most about OBJ? Uh, I mean, he, he um, started from like his rookie year to like now. I mean, he's been balling from, uh, from since he started the lead. Uh, but I mean, I've been watching him from a long time. He was from LSU, so I mean, I was able to see him um, See, like, the, the people from uh, in New Orleans and the high school he went to in Newman. So, I mean, I've been watching him for a long time. He's definitely a top receiver in the league. He's been that for a long time. And uh, he made his na name known from the day he got in. So. I know we hear so much about Justin's poise. How does that show up in a game or just on a daily basis? How do you see that? Uh, he's always calm. Like I said, he's, uh, like I said last week, he's always calm and collected. And um, he's, uh, he's just wanting to make the play. And... Uh, Get a get a dub for the team. So I mean, it's it's showing. It's been showing on on the field, it's showing off the field as well in practice. Uh, and then with him getting a lot of reps this week, it's showing as well. So Justin's ability to <coughs> extend a play and to you know pass just going through those initial reads and scramble out as a receiver and, and targets as a whole. What what do you need to do to respond to that? Uh, make sure you're running when he runs. So make sure if you, if he's running out the pocket, the play isn't over. I mean, he could probably will definitely will throw you the ball deep. Uh, just from looking at his his college uh, plays and uh, just him being do, doing it in practice as well. As well. So um, you just got to be on on the radar. I was gonna say, is that an emphasis this week? Uh, for sure, for sure. Yeah. And if he if he's running outside the pocket, you better better be running too. So. so. So when he's running around like crazy, do you play the Tyreek Hill role and are wide open in the corner of the end zone? Is that how you see it? <laughs> like I said, if he's running, you better run deep because he wants to throw the ball deep. So. Joke, I think that he was going to be running sprints after practice. <laughs> he got his wind up. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I'll be doing the same thing.